Carl. What you doing today? Painting. Oh, what are you gonna paint? Flowers. Flowers. Yes. Okay. Well, okay, let's watch. so I have my coffee here. Yes. Everyone loves coffee, and uh, everyone loves art, right? So here we go. Flowers. So this one, I'm going to. I'm going to uh, eventually have a. A very dark background behind these flowers. Right, and, uh, so, but first, I'm going to put in some flowers. It kind of looks like a hand. Yes. What kind of flowers are these? Ah, impressionist flowers. That's what I do, right? Mm -hmm. I do impressionist type work, and uh, because uh, that's what I feel, you know. It's uh, it's cool, you know. Yeah. Well, your flowers are quite popular. Yes. So there's one. Oh, okay. Now we're going to change over to some red oxide here, which is like a earthy sort of like a clay type color. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put one here. Okay. So when did you start painting flowers? Oh, several years ago. Was that one of the first things you painted or? Uh, yes. Why? Is it because they're easier or? Are they easier? No, no. no. To to be able to paint well is definitely not easy. It's uh, it's uh, it's it's difficult, as I as I've said before. <clears throat> but, uh, no, I started painting them because um, I find um, if uh, if the art is good, where you find flowers, then uh, they are very enjoyable. In terms of uh, in terms of art. So, what would you recommend somebody start painting if they, if they're just starting out with painting? What type of things would you would flowers be a good place to start? I honestly I can't say. That's really up to the individual. They <clears throat> basically whatever whatever they're feeling at the time is is where it's at for them. So, so no one subject is technically more difficult than another. Um, well, that's a good question there. Um, <laughs> you, you love to give me the hard question, don't you? I don't know. Um, well, actually, now that you, because you keep asking me about that, I, <clears throat> I, I would, I would say that, um, I would say that, yeah, of course, certain, certain subjects are, are, are more technically Difficult, as you say, than others. Uh, for instance, for instance, figures uh, like like the human figure mm -hmm. uh, naturally is more difficult to to paint than say flowers. So, Why? Because uh, because a, like if if you're if you're dealing with a subject and like uh, a subject that presents the most amount of problems, that would be the human figure. Why? Uh, all the bends and the, you know, all the various areas of the human body and, you know, it's, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So it's, okay. Whereas, you know, flowers, you, uh, you know, with these, you, you have petals. So it's just, you know, it, it is, it is easier. In a way <clears throat> to do with flowers, so and, you know this is what I feel like doing today. So. Okay. And uh, I think I think an artist can produce some of their best work when they when they follow their mood on that day. So. Yes, I believe we talked about that before. Okay. So are the flower pieces always happy pieces because they're flowers? 
Oh, happy. Well, well, actually, as far as I can recall with the flower pieces I've done thus far, I certainly don't recall any where they were conveying, um, you know, a sad mood or anything like that. So, yeah, so far, I, I believe mine have been, you know, happy type pieces. So. so are all the flowers on this one going to be red? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, variations of reddish tones here. Anything else on your mind today? Uh, let's see now. Well, yes, actually, something very exciting. Um, you and I have been talking about the prospect of someday in the future. Maybe we'll go to, uh, you know, bring, bring the work over to Asia and other places in the world and, you know, ex expand expand this work. So that's on my mind today and that's very exciting. And why Asia? Well, um, there's an old saying that goes, uh, if, if you can, um, over, over, over there, if you can paint, you'll eat. And if you can paint well, they'll break your door down. That's an old saying. An old saying from where? Who said that? Uh, w. Joe Innes said that in his book. Who's he? He's a, he's a painter out of Chicago. Uh, yeah. yeah. And what about this book? Uh, the book is about, well, it's, 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 a, it's a very great book and uh, because it, it talks about it talks about the truths of um, of you know becoming a, a well-known painter and, and, and successful and, and while still being able to you know paint pictures so so it's uh, yeah so it's so um, it's it's full of great humor and situations he was in and yeah, it's, it's just a really great book. So it's an advice book, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And he says you have to go to Asia? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's a very good idea to, uh, to do so eventually. Hmm. Um, yeah, you know, if, if, you're, if you actually know how to paint, and then, uh, yeah, it can, it can be a very, very lucrative thing. Yes, because, um, because there is a vibe over there with art and... Uh, if, if someone paints well, then you may be embraced in, in a really great way. So they have a great respect for art. Yes, they, they, they uh, yeah, they, they tend to. They tend to have to have a certain a certain respect for artists. Yes. This <clears throat> Innes, did he go to Asia? Yes. Where did he go? Uh, he went to, I believe he went to Japan. Mm-hmm. Uh, other areas of the world, I believe he went to, were, were Korea. Mm -hmm. um, and he may have gone to China. And that's that's all I can remember. Have you decided where you'd like to go first, if this is what you wanted? I would like to go to Japan first. Shouldn't you be able to speak the language before you do that? I I don't have, I don't have a brain that is... <laughs> I do have a brain of some sort. Not much of one, but no, my I don't seem to have a brain that that is great at picking up languages. So so that that may be something that you you'll have to do. <laughs> okay. So I'll just study up on my Japanese. That would be fabulous. Yes. Very good. Okay, let's take a look at what we've got here. Excuse me. Okay. Ah. So it's not done yet? No. Would you like a sip of my coffee? No, thank you. All right.
You take cream and sugar and I don't. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, That's probably why I'm the size I am and you're the size you are. Right? So. Partly. But it works. Well, tuna helper and cheese pizza weren't hurting you neither, right? All right, back to the piece. Excuse me. What piece? Okay. You mean me as a sexy man? That kind of piece? That's what you mean, right? No, I meant the painting. Oh, the painting. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay. Me. So... Excuse, please. I will will uh, run for now. You're and, leaving already? Well, sure, yes. And we will post the finished product on Facebook when we're done. Okay.